Hello, I'm Yomi Olufiadi and this is your word for the week. Psalm 61 verse 1 to 5. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings, Selah. For thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. This is my admonition to you this week. David was overwhelmed and his response was not to panic. His response was not to run helter-skelter. His response was to pray. I want to encourage you. The word of God says, is any of you afflicted, let him pray. For the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. If you care to pray, there is a God that is ready to answer. He will answer you by terrible deeds in righteousness. I want to encourage you this week, whatever it is you're facing in your finances, in your marriage, on the job, in your classes as a student, whatever it is, take it to God in prayer. He said, when my heart is overwhelmed, please, Lord, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I am speaking to those who might feel overwhelmed, those who might feel that the situations of life are too much than they can handle. Cry out to him where you are, and I stand in agreement with you that he will come to you. He will save you out of your distress. This week, as you approach him in the place of prayer, nothing is too little, nothing is too big for you to take to him in prayer. David said, when my heart is overwhelmed, if you cannot handle it, then God can handle it. If you can't handle it, God can handle it. If you take it to him in the place of prayer, this week you will see miracles. I encourage you that this week be a week of heartfelt communion with God in the place of prayer. And I tell you, it's going to be a week filled with miracles. So shall it be in the name of Jesus.